Oh, the humanity. Three words that, when taken out of context, make nearly no sense. Add, however, the historical context of the 1937 Hindenburg Zeppelin crash, and the words become synonymized with one thing. Disaster. It was the dawn of a new age in air travel. Zeppelins, complete with luxury lounges, providing safe and reliable transportation from one place to another. On May 6th, 1937, a shadow was cast on this new age. The operators of the Hindenburg opted to fill the dirigible with hydrogen instead of helium gas. The downside to hydrogen, however, is its high level of flammability. This became immediately clear when the Zeppelin tried to dock in New Jersey. In just 37 seconds, the entire craft was engulfed in flames. We see bystanders on the ground, some looking on. Others run for their lives from the massive wreckage falling upon them. The sheer size of the crash is mind-boggling. Grown people seem like ants in comparison to the tower of flames that falls near them. Meanwhile, the explosive hydrogen gas makes quick work of the massive aircraft, sending flames and smoke hundreds of feet into the air. The sheer light given off by the fire overexposes the camera, turning an otherwise pleasant backdrop of the early evening sky into a scene reminiscent of classic depictions of hell and disaster. It is an explosion so epic, so monstrous, that it looks like it cannot be of this world, like something that would only be a special effect in a movie. Instead, every flame, every spark, every particle of smoke is real. This disaster would claim the lives of 35 travelers and one bystander on the ground. The Hindenburg crash effectively ended the era of travel by Zeppelin, but it ingrained in millions the epitome of what a disaster is and just how spontaneously one can occur.